Today we're getting ready for a listing appointment. This owner reached out to me back in December of 2021 via email. He found me on the internet. I still don't know from what platform whether it be Instagram or Google, make sure you know a little bit about SEO and what words in your search engine are going to stand out because this guy found me kind of organically online. Hi Natalie, I'm looking to find a listing agent in Naples for the unit in Turtle Lake condos off of Pine Ridge. He asked me a bunch of questions. I took some time to answer those questions in detail. Looking back on this, I really sold myself, which makes me happy. Um, I met him shortly after this email. It's now July 25th. Since December, I have been reaching out to him every other week or so by text, by call, just checking in, letting him know the different comps in the area still. And today, today we're moving forward. So I'm about to go meet him in about an hour. I've printed off a listing agreement, seller's disclosure, and the homeowner's disclosure. This is a very small unit. It is two bedrooms, two baths, 842 square feet. They were built in 1979. Um, average days on market are kind of all over the board. There were two listed three days ago and then two others within the last two months. If I go here and change my criteria to closed and I want it to be in the last 90 days, this gives me 16 properties total. So 12 have sold between the months of May through July. And the range is, the price difference ranges from 270 to 310. This unit in particular had a smoker in the unit. It needs a lot of work, a lot of love. He does not wanna put any work into it. He wants to sell it and be done. So the way that I'm gonna market this, I'm gonna make it like an investor special. If you're an investor and you're looking for a little condo in Naples, please reach out to me. If you've been waiting for that little diamond in the rough property on the market in Naples, this is the one for you. You can hit me up on Instagram and see more about my listings at NattyPB. Visit my website, realtynpb.com, and search my YouTube channel, Natalie Perez Benatoa, where I talk about all things real estate. Thank you for watching, and I will connect with you very, very soon. Okay, so you can see the unit kind of behind me. I showed up and there was a huge trash removal truck here and I'm gonna come back when all that's done. Um, let's get this AC going because it is hot, hotter than hell. Also, I need to stop by Best Buy to return this tripod. If you're gonna get a tripod, get a good one. This was 30 bucks and you can tell because it just has poor quality and it was like, it's just not easy to navigate and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I pump out better content when I like the equipment that I'm using, so that's gotta go. We're gonna return that and maybe we'll find something else. Amazon is my go-to place for all things tech, all things ever, really. Um, Amazon Prime is the way to go. I just also like shopping and looking at things in person and feeling them and touching them, which you can't do on Amazon. If you're an agent making content, let me know if you wanna see some of the gear that I use. I can hook up some links in the description below. I'm not really a gear channel, but if that's something you are interested in, please reach out to me, let me know. Um, your feedback means the world. It's how I can continue to create these videos that are actually impactful and actually matter. I would start driving, but my camera's on my steering wheel, so that's not gonna work. So I was supposed to have a showing tonight with some buyers who we've been looking since March. The showing was just canceled. I gotta break the news. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. I will text. Ugh, 24 hours and he had four offers. Cash over asking, no contingencies. Uh, it's a beautiful house and my buyers are going to be pissed when they find out. I asked him if he would entertain another buyer, another offer, and he asked if it was a financed offer and I said yes and he said no, um, there's plenty of cash on the line and anyway. This is tough. I mean, I don't know what these finance buyers are going to do, and that's most of us. The market's slowing down. I mean, obviously, I just arrived at my listing that has been on the market. I think we just have it overpriced. There's a learning curve to all of this, and even when you think you're on top of it and you're jumping the gun and you're going for it, it doesn't always work out. So. I spent the weekend showing property all over Southwest Florida from Cape Coral to Bonita to Fort Myers to Golden Gate Estates and Naples and no luck.
that's just how it goes. We keep going. We're on the grind. Let's do it. Okay. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. When you're the listing agent, you get to park in the garage. It's kind of nice. Who locked this door? Seriously, I'm locked out? The sellers aren't even in the country. Who? <sighs> Showing agents, buyers agents, when you show a house, leave it how you found it. Do not lock the door to the garage. Just like not in the mood today. Not in the mood. It's a good thing I have extra keys. I'll just take a tour. Attached villa. Nice and quiet. I don't have any pockets. I think it's this one. I got my super box on there, but we're not gonna hassle with that. And we have this. So we are at a listing of mine in Ibis Cove. It's lovely. Let me show you my favorite room. It's a den that I turned into a bedroom with the right furniture. It can be like a multi-use space. It's just cute. We could probably, I'm just fluffing up some stuff for people when they come in. We've had about 20 showings in here. So I know things can get a little messed up if someone decides to be a weirdo and sit on the bed. No, that's not weird. I got this chair at Goodwill for $7 and that little puff ottoman at Target for 35, but it's nice because I can add it to my staging collection. I don't know guys, it's like hurry up and wait, you know? Okay, I gotta pause this. I gotta turn this off because YouTube loves to get on you for copyright material and I'm listening to the radio, so that doesn't work. I'm gonna get food at Panera and take a little breather because I'm just having one of those days, you know? I'm a little irritable today. I feel like I structured my whole day around certain things that just get rescheduled and I can't take that personally. You just gotta go with the flow. So I'm gonna just chill and have a little bite to eat. <sighs> I need to fuel this body and this brain. Okay. We're gonna go for a walk. So this is Park Shore neighborhood in Naples. These are like multi-million dollar properties. Don't worry, I don't live here. This is my boyfriend's parents' house that we're staying at because they're out of town and our house is under construction. Looks like it's gonna rain. Sounds like it's gonna rain, I should say. I'm gonna show you some of the most gorgeous houses down here. Thought I'd uh, take my camera with me and tour you on some of these beautiful, beautiful homes. That landscaping alone is like, I don't know, 100 grand. It's overcast, it's kind of gloomy. Um, when you have a YouTube channel, nobody really tells you the amount of work that it takes to maintain it. I manage, produce, write, film, edit all of my own videos. And it's time consuming and kind of a headache. On days like today, I just have to tell myself all I can do is try and keep trying and keep getting better and show you guys what it's like, the reality, but I have nothing to complain about. I mean, this is where I live. This is Naples, Florida. It's like 75 degrees. A little windy because the storm's coming in. I have clients, I have sales, I have my health, I have a loving partner. I have all that I need to thrive and succeed. The only person that's limiting me from doing anything is myself. So my arm is burning as I hold my camera up Gotta work out these triceps. Yeah. That's just how it goes. We keep going. We're on the grind. Let's do it.